in their base. And you can zoom out a lot more than usual, which you'll probably see on this map because Shakura's Plateau <gasps> is a very large map and it's the first time we see it. I haven't seen this in so long. So, I miss Shakura's. the matchup is Zerg versus Terran. The map is Shakura's Plateau and the players are... Spawning in the top right-hand corner of Shakura's Plateau. It is our Zerg player up one game, Killing Spree's Jig. Jig fighting to win his 200 approximate dollars. <laughs> his opponent, Crossbonds, in the bottom left-hand corner, fighting for his tournament life, does not want to go 0-2, does not want to lose to Jig one more time, wants to continue fighting. It is the Blue Terran, Alexei Moi. Also known as Barcode. 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 Alex, it's Barcode. me. He is a strong Terran player, has won many notable tournaments, but will he be able to win the Schizo Cup 7 Songers? What are your predictions? I think that Alexi Ma, he, he's a very strong player. He needs to be able to, I guess, have more units or even do some more effective harass with his initial push. Mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. problem with that was his build was a very harass orientated build. Not a really good for a straight up fight. Although, but the, pro um, the problem is Jig brought the straight up fight to him. Mm -hmm. And those roaches really set the tone at the beginning, pushing through those barracks, doing a lot of damage to units, maybe not so many to uh, SCVs, but really by that point he was joining up and he was securing a fourth base, even a third base. So it looks like Alexei Ma going oh to... Oh my goodness. It my... is just a sixth sense right the here. The clairvoyant Jig and he's like, ha! Caught you. You cannot build a proxy rex on me, and this must be the worst feeling for Alexei yeah. Ma. Really, where do you go from here? How do you transition out of a proxy fail? But he's going to have to retreat with his SCV and maybe cancel that uh, barracks, and yes, he does. Decides to use that SCV for a little bit of scouting instead, oh, no. and uh, what can he do from here to stabilize? Huge, huge uh, mishap right there. Now his barrack tech is just so far behind. I actually just go for a CC first, but, um, you know, if KS Jig is going to be the aggressive Zerk, he is. Just dropped a spot spawning pool and just makes zerglings, there's almost nothing mm -hmm. that uh, Zima can do to defend if that decides what he wants to do. So it was a CC first, just as you mentioned, and the spawning pool is also uh, beginning uh, as well. So uh, it will get noticed, the drone is going to come up here, so smartly deciding to scout with this drone instead of just waiting for overlords to float over top of it. He does notice uh, uh, the CC, so he will know that his opponent is going for a major greedy build and that he has a good opportunity here to do some aggressive uh, uh, attacking advantage. And this drone and might actually get another kill. Oh, oh, it doesn't get a kill. So we see the barracks bodyguards. <laughs> Get off my bro! <laughs> so we see the gas getting uh, pulled um, already by KS Jake. He wants that speed extra early. He wants to be aggressive now. He knows he's a little he's a little ahead just because of uh, that failed barracks play and even having a hatchway oh, block right no. there. And there we go. This could be. The coffin in the cave. So what a beautiful coffin play. in the cave. Nail just, in the coffin. Oh my god. Just ignore. Just ignore what Nick says. So this is actually a beautiful play by uh, Jig, even using 300 minerals just to block. The only recourse that uh, that um, Alexei Mo had was to just go for an economy build, and even that is stifled by the building of that. Um, uh, of that hatch, so really wonderful play by Jig, and how is Alexei Moore going to respond to this? He is getting his double gas here, I think he really wants to get that siege tech up as quickly as possible. Shout out to Believe. Hi, no, Believe. don't shout out you. to Believe. You Nobody cares awesome. about Believe. Yo, Believe, what team do you play for? <laughs> yeah, that's right, brother. You have no idea what you're saying. You don't even know the words coming out of your mouth. Yeah, yeah, you just go back to your tower. <laughs> so, the barracks has now been completed, is flying forward to block off the front of the base. He's now going to have to shoot down this massive cancerous tumor being built right in front of his base at his natural. It's not a tumor. It's it, hatchery. It's a tumor of some sort. Uh, a hatchery is like a big tumor. It's a, you know how you build creep tumors? It's like a bigger tumor. But it's not a tumor. Oh my it's god. It's a hatchery. Right? You're just trying to say stuff. <laughs> so a couple of uh, drones oh, are coming down as well. They might be able to build some spine crawlers here. Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Yes, that's exactly. It would have been hilarious if you went to go mine. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's a natural, but instead spine crawlers at the front. So this is really uh, finic uh, this is really fickle, not fickle, what am I trying to say? This is really tight play coming out by Jig. This is really forcing, uh, forcing Alexei Moi to uh, sit on one base, and what can he do just in one base uh, trying to push out with two oh spines at the front? I feel like Alexei Moi, he's feeling the vice just slowly closing around his... That's the um, word. That's the word. Was that the word you are looking for? Maybe. <laughs> you mad? You mad? I slow your order. Yeah, just keep talking. But we can see the factory is trying to produce this tank. It'd be nice we have a bunker going up, so Marauder is going to be shooting at this bunker. It is going to relocate, though. And with one queen out now shooting at their larva, but we all know larva is made out of the strongest thing known to man.
mankind. Yep, they should make everything out of the larva. The second base and the first base of Jig are happily mining. The third base could mine if he wanted to be so bold. Luckily, the Marauders, with the range afforded by the that bunker, are able to reach the um, the hatch. So actually, beautiful placement. If this ever happens to you guys, know that a bunker there can do everything. So um, this hatch, though, with all these larvae, he'll still be able to produce a bunch of units, which is exactly what he's doing, and still reinforcing more. So he's going to have a pretty big army to defend this front gate. Looks like Alessi Mon really wants to put this command center somewhere else, somewhere more useful. He's going to build another spy depot just to get that wall. But oh. now the links come up. They know that that's a weak spot in the in the Terran defense, and he's just going to push the links up. No SVs else being pulled, and they just can't repair it or build it fast enough. And oh my gosh, they're pushing. They're pushing so hard. It's almost going down with the link field to tune up there. Queen Eve joined the fray. Down goes the supply depot. Zerglings are into no. the base now. The Lings are going to get mopped up, they are going to get cleaned up by these SCVs that are attacking, but the SCVs now lose their life very quickly. One Marauder left to take it out last uh, Ling, but still two spine crawlers at the front, a Queen and a bunch of Lings, and that hatch has still not died. And oh, the building was placed, but not in time, and because of the sight of the high ground and the replacement of those spine crawlers, Jig is playing this absolutely beautifully. And now the tumors are creeping up into the base. We can see that one placed on the high ground. Spine crawl is going to be shooting. Actually, no, they're going to be moving straight up. Hellions and um, Marauders trying to do a lot of damage. Spine crawl is burning against Zugs is retreating. But the spine crawls will not finish, actually. They're actually all going to go down. And the Lings are going to try to do some damage to the Marauders, but they're actually getting taken out pretty fast here. So it looks like Alexei Moore might be able to stabilize a little bit off of this, but the damage has really been done. A bunch of SAP have already been killed. Uh, and the worker count is in favor of Jig, and Jig is still pressing forward with links, still producing more. Ten links, eight links, and only four marines are coming out just now, and they'll need to come out much faster than this. This one queen is playing uh, is playing darts with her spines, shooting them at all these hurt marines and marauders, and the marauder is going to get taken out by the queen. One marine does take out that queen very well, and my goodness, Song Songers is getting trolled by... Uh, <laughs> believe. Liv, on stop trolling me. I'm trying to cast. It's okay. They can't see it on stream because he's not friends with John. Correct. So a bunch more lings are being pushed into the base, and these uh, SCVs and Marines are trying to block them from coming into the mineral line. One Hellion is roasting as many lings as possible, trying to make a ling barbecue, and these lings might get caught. No, they don't. Um, these lings do run out of the base. And here comes the third base going up. You know, the damage has been done by killing Spree as Jake. Uh, he is happy with what he's been able to do. He's delayed this expansion for 10 minutes, basically. Well, not 10 minutes, but like 5 minutes. He's ahead in worker accounts. He can produce more units and workers just because he's had his for uh, three, bases, three bases for so very long. The second base is going to have to take um, going to have to take his time to drop. The creep will take for a very long There's time no to chemo. receive. There's no chemo available for this creep. No. Oh, and a bunch oh, of bandits might catch these marines off guard, and they do catch a couple. Pretty good uh, job taking out as many as they possibly could. Uh, and the banelings do go down. A bunch more lings are going to mop up the rest of these hellions who wisely go behind the mineral patch and now trying to get out and back into their base. They are getting back, but there's still creep inside the base, which gives his, um, which gives these lings a little bit of a speed advantage. And still, the creep tumors are not being taken out because he doesn't want to spend any money on scans. <laughs> this oh, this commands are just floating. Wants the land so bad. The building from like the uh, the the larva is still left at the base, and we can see now pure production of just units, zerglings, banelings, everything. Command Seater sees it. I wish he could. He wishes he could just land and squat. Even overlords are pooping. That's uh -huh. underneath them. They won't even let him land there. So one ling does die. Those twins will never see each other oh. again. A bunch more banelings are knocking on the front door. These units are being met at the front. They're trying to be uh, as quick as they can, trying to get into the base. They do detonate onto the top of those hellions. Some of the hellions do survive, and they're able to. Blow Lock the main front gate, but these band Hellions still do come in, doing the AOE damage they need to let the Lings come streaming in from behind, and these Hellions are going to get surrounded. These Lings now sign the end times for this Marine army with nothing but SCVs to defend and one Hellion. This might be time where uh, Alexei Ma might have to call it quits. He's still fighting his heart out right now, though, and more Banelings getting morphing in the side over there. The Overlord Poop Highway is, is just too much, We're increasing the speed that the army can just reinforce across the map. I, he's trying. I like it. He's like Simon, never say die. He doesn't want to go down here because he knows if he quits here, he is out of the tournament. But he just can't bring the production in at the rate of the units. three bases. And Alexei Ma finally has to. Wow. So Jig convincingly takes 2-0 the victory.